cannot hit. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And Kevin, you know, they show how important it is to have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the road, that depth is vital. I think they really utilize the second unit to extend their offensive assault and just really wore down their opponent. And guys, I think what you saw from them throughout the game was teamwork. This is a team. Regardless of who was out there on the floor at any given time, they got it done. And that has to make you feel good as a group. Well, he hit that shot, Kevin, from the suburb. What a shot. <laughs> you got to have some guts to let it fly from that far beyond the arc. Rubio against Maxwell. Rubio the pass to Towns. Four on the shot clock. And it's Rubio penetrating and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Minnesota. Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Cantory checked in for Oklahoma City. Roberson comes in for pain. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burt. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Kings was superb. He finished with 25 points and played some lockdown defense as well, causing havoc on both ends of the floor. Safe to say he is out of his funk after a game like this. He'll try to keep up this pace now, guys. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sometimes those hot streaks can last for days, and, and, and I'm sure they're, they'll be feeding him the basketball, hoping he's still got that mojo work. Well, they ought to. I mean, when you've got a thoroughbred like him, I think you've got to ride him for as long as he'll carry you. He lobs it up, and the jam by Levine. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And, guys, anytime it's real tight, you're looking for something that could be potentially a momentum builder. And that's exactly what that play looks to be. This one for three. Minnesota with the rebound. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. They were just locked, really in a zone from a team defense standpoint, and nobody ever got stuck on an island. There was always somebody providing help, and the communication was tremendous. And that was the key, Greg, communication and the teamwork. You can't play good rotating defense if you're not communicating and on the same page. They were doing all of that at a high level. Here's Maxwell again Oklahoma City boy they are passing the ball very crisply right now they really are and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist Maxwell against Rubio kicks it to Towns puts up the baby hook and lots of contact there missing the shot he'll shoot two this is his first chance at the line tonight the free throw drops for Towns And so it's a clip. Kevin, there was. OKC makes some noise. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. You just can't shoot the triple any better than he did in that first half. That was incredible. And here in the second, Greg, he's got to just keep taking them and making them. Uh, and if that's the case, no reason for him to stop. Durant, the three, and Ibaka, the four. Roberson is out there with Maxwell. And it's Cantor in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Stolen by Durant. And here we go. Freak heading to the hoop. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both that's ends. That's Very that's nicely that's done there. Absolutely. They make the steal, pay dividends instantly on the fast break. Levine dishes to Arthur.
Rubio outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. The Thunder leading by three. Here's Maxwell. Can't get it to go. Good D by Rubio. Here's Levine. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Thunder have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. It's Durant on the wing. Screened by Ibaka. And here's Maxwell for three. The basket good off the assist. From Durant. Durant's got three assists in the game. Guys, they've had a solid start to the second half offensively. They've gotten good looks. And they've made three out of four. It's blocked. And even three on three break. Oh. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. And that last replay courtesy of Kia. And it's Wiggins missing. The Thunder with the lead. Maxwell kicks to Ibaka. Here's Cantor. Good D by Rubio. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. Here's Levine. Traps in the tray. Levine's got five points now this quarter. There is no way, no way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? To the left side wing. And Roberson kicks to Freak. And the layup is good. Maxwell's got 18 points. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Towns kicks to Wiggins. From 13. Again, Wiggins missing. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Duran, that's good. A one-man show offensively. And that's almost always good news for his team. Rubio, the pass to Wiggins. And Durant sends it back. And the block shot turns into a shooting fight. So the defensive effort there a bit too much as the officials will send him to the line and he'll shoot some free throws. But Here's Maxwell. And a look at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth. In the backcourt, Rubio and Muhammad. Arthur out there with Jang and it's Town in at the five. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't have it. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Levine's checked in for Muhammad. The Thunder leading by three. Outside for Durant. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Here's Levine. There's the pick. And Rubio kicks to Zhang. To the wing on the left. Feeds to Rubio. Six to shoot. High post try. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Well, you can bet the defense wasn't expecting that kind of razzle-dazzle out of him. But the spin worked like a charm. Perfect. Maxwell against Rubio. And stolen by Jang. Fast break, Minnesota. And Rubio kicks to Levine. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. It hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. 
Yeah, but over a full game, I like their energy. And if they can maintain that level of effort, I think it bodes well for them down the stretch. The drive by Rubio. Out of bounds, Timberwolves ball. Minnesota keeps possession. Dennis Kinn has checked in for Oklahoma City. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Arthur, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. You're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Man, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Tries from 16. Towns, no luck. Oklahoma City leading by three. And here's Maxwell for three. No good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Levine can't hit. The Thunder have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Screen by Ibaka. That's good from Cantor on the assist by Freak. Maxwell's got his eighth assist in the game. Timberwolves trail by five. Rubio outside. To the paint. Towns kicks to Rubio. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh. <laughs> And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. They get that one, but guys, on the night, that's been the problem, securing the ball. They've been out hustled. At this point, hard to see them recovering from that. Rubio with a wide open look, and good, he nails it. Now, just a one point Oklahoma City lead. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Maxwell outside for Durant. Maxwell's shot is no good. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Levine can't hit. Oklahoma City has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. The three from Maxwell. Can't get it to go. Good D by Rubio. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. 152 left to play here in the fourth. Arthur inside. Abaka on him. That gives them the lead. And 12 points here for Ricky Rubio. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Maxwell's shot is no good. And boy, has he been struggling big time here in the quarter. Yeah, he's played tight. I mean, you can see it. No flow at all to his game right now. Here's Towns. And he overshot that one, missing. Oklahoma City trailing. Left side, Durant. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And they'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. Catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the Timberwolves head coach talking to his team. He tried to really fire them up to bring it home, saying, all night, you have all night to rest after the final buzzer. For now, we have to lay it on the line and try to bring it home. Guys, back to you. Towns with it, working on a pocket. Back to Rubio. Passes it to Towns. Yes! Those are huge points. Beyond huge, partner. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. Oh! 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 How did he hit that shot? I don't believe 